this is Dan Bunker with CodeCram. In this tutorial on the Java string, we'll talk about a few methods that can be considered utility or often used methods to help make working with strings easier. The first method I want to take a look at is the isEmpty method. If you've been following along with these string tutorials, you've probably already seen the length method. This method simply returns true, the length is zero, and false otherwise. You could just check for a length of zero yourself, but this method makes your code read a little more like pure English. The next method is the trim method. This method is going to remove any white space or characters like new lines or returns from the beginning or end of your string. When you need to do string comparisons, this method is often used to make sure that your strings are trimmed on both sides so that they can be checked for equality without any kind of misleading white space surrounding them. The split method makes it easy to break a string up by a regular expression pattern and returns the pieces as a string array. A common use case for this method would be taking a sentence and splitting it by the spaces to return the words. Finally, the join method will do the opposite of split. This method will take a bunch of strings and combine them into one string separated by the given delimiter. So to work through some examples of these utility methods, I'm going to jump back to Spring Tool Suite and continue on with our lessons on the Java string. And in this case, we'll go ahead and create a class to do the same thing that we've done in other tutorials. I'm simply going to call the class String Utilities, check the public static void main so I can run it as a Java app, and click Finish. Go ahead and remove this comment. The first thing I'm going to do is create a string to work with. In fact, I'm going to create two strings to try testing out the is empty. Okay, I've initialized two strings, one called empty, and it simply is a blank string with no characters in it. And I've created another one called not empty, which says hello. So we can test out the is empty method by printing these strings out to the console. These two system.outs simply are going to take the empty string, call the is empty method on it, and the not empty string and call the is empty. So as you might guess, we should get a true statement printed out from this first system.out. We should get a false statement because the not empty string is not empty. So I can test this out by simply right clicking, going to run as Java application. If we look down here in our console, the first statement printed out true because it was empty and the second statement printed out false. So really quickly, what do you think would happen if you use the is empty on a null string. You can try that by initializing one of these strings to null and running it. If you think about it, you cannot call a method on a null object since it's null. So you get a null pointer exception in that particular case. Next, I want to test out the trim method. So I'm going to create a new string to try some trimming on. All right, so I've got a new string called white spaces as the variable name. And you'll see that there's some empty spaces at the beginning of it. Then we have a sentence here that says white spaces can be hard to recognize with some white space at the end. Oftentimes if you're reading information in from say like a file or a database or some other source, you never know if there are spaces around it. So you often should check that by doing the trim. So I've added a system.out where we take the white spaces variable and simply call trim on it and we should get empty spaces in front of and behind the string. Go ahead and run this. You'll notice it's a little hard to see in here because you can't really test that out. You can try to select it and see if there's any space before or after it, but you will notice that the white is kind of left aligned here, which means that the trim has removed all of these spaces at the beginning for us. So trim is one of those things, if you're working with strings that you don't know anything about, it's always a good idea to trim them up before you try to do anything else on them. Next up, let's see what happens if we split the string using a regular expression of a space. So again, if you're not familiar with regular expressions, these are very powerful things that you can use to match certain sub-portions or portions of your string. So go ahead and run this, we can see what happens you notice that we get this funky character return down here. It says java.ling.string with an address, memory address, and it's got this bracket with an L at the beginning. 
This is the JVM responding that it's trying to do a print statement on a array. If you remember, the split will turn all of your strings into array pieces based off of the delimiter. So if we want to actually see what the split returned, I can use the utility method arrays and call the two string on it and pass in the split, which is a array of strings. Now when I run this, we should get the array content printed out in a prettier fashion rather than the address as seen there. Okay, so here is our array actually printed out, but notice what's happened. We have some blank space spots in the beginning of the array, then we have our sentence broken up into different strings. Each of these strings essentially represents a word. So why is the beginning of the array printing out these empty, essentially blank spots? Well, that's because it matched on the spaces up here and still split on that. So to fix that problem, all we need to do is simply trim it before we split it. So I'll do that by adding the trim method. We can go ahead and rerun this now. And now we have our string broken up into words. And finally, I'm going to demo the join method on the string. And this is actually a static method, so you don't need to call it on an instance of a string. You can simply call it from the string class itself. So here's how this will work. We have the string.join, which is a static method. The first parameter is what we want to join to separate the string. So I'm going to say join everything together that I give it, but separate it by a space. Then I'm passing in the white spaces string that I've declared up here. And I've also added a few other strings that we want to join together. So what this is going to do is join white spaces, test the join all together, but separate them by a space. I'll go ahead and save this file and run this. You'll notice that we have this printed out down here. We also have that pesky white space in there to begin with. Again, to fix that, I can simply just trim this. Now when I rerun it, you'll notice that we have our original sentence, white spaces can be hard to recognize. Then we have a space, test, space, the, and space, join which is what the join method has done. If you want to change the delimiter to use, say, commas or hyphens or something, just change the delimiter at the beginning, and it will join them using that. Now you can see that the delimiter has joined the rest of those strings to the white spaces using the hyphen. So the join is a very powerful way to concatenate a bunch of strings together, especially if you're trying to do something like create a comma delimited list of things the join is an excellent method to do that. And that's it for the string utilities lesson on the Java string. These are often used to help you find if you have any issues with your strings, like white spaces, to see if they're empty, to do other particular things like splitting or joining. And they're used quite often when you're parsing and working with the string. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this tutorial, there's more on codecram.com.